Let's create a pie chart without having to use the pie graph tool. So often when we design a pie graph inside Adobe Illustrator, we use this tool right here called the pie graph tool. But this tool is very restricted. So let me show you another quick way to create a pie graph that gives you more freedom in the design. And it's actually really simple and quick. So first go to the ellipse tool, hold down the shift key to get a perfect circle and simply draw a quick circle on the canvas. Then select the line tool, go to the middle of the circle, hold down the shift key to make a straight line and create a line that goes straight up. Make sure that it goes outside the circle. From here, pick the rotate tool, hold down the alt key and click the middle of the circle. And for my example, I will create a pie graph that contains three parts, 25%, 25% and 50%. So when a part needs to be 25%, you can't just go to the angle and type in 25% because there's 360 degrees in a circle and not just 100. So there's a simple way to get around this. Simply take all your percentages, for example 25 like this, and then simply type in 25 times 3.6 because 3.6 is 1% 1 of 360 degrees. You don't need to remember all this, simply take your percentage times 3.6 no matter the percentage, and then click copy. Then while still having the rotate tool selected, do it once again. So hold down the alt key, click the middle, and we need another one 25%. So type in 25 times 3.6 and click copy. And naturally you don't need to do the last part because the last part will always be the rest of the pie chart after you type in the first parts. So now go to the selection tool, select the entire chart, Go to the shape builder tool and click on each part. One, two, three. Then pick the selection tool and delete these excess lines. Now select the pie chart and make all shapes a fill instead of a stroke. And now we can color the different parts. So select the parts and give them a color. And the benefit of doing the pie chart like this instead of using the pie graph tool is that each shape is a different shape which means that you can move it around, add effects and do whatever you want to the different shapes. You can't do that if you use the pie graph tool. So now we can create a text, type in the percentage, give the text a color and place the text on the different parts. And to create the legends, simply create a new text box outside the pie chart and type in the name of the part. Then do a text for all the parts. And I just spotted we need to create this percentage. Type in 50% and now we can simply draw a circle to represent the color of the different parts. Draw a circle, place it where you want and copy the circle for all the parts. Then simply color the circles. And here you have a beautiful and quick pie chart.